the, the Walgreens story I told you guys again, you know, about the liquor. Like that's how do, a giant company is made from one government regulation. So this huge multi-billion dollar pharmacy mo uh, conglomerate was cr cr created through government. So <clears throat> Yeah. The problems that people have, you know, oh, I'm such anti-big, you know, those people, are, I'm anti-big business. Show me one big business that hasn't used government to achieve that status of big business. Like, do you honestly think Walmart would be as big as it, as it was if it didn't get special tax rates in towns, if it didn't uh, get s special waivers to not have to, you know, treat their employees correctly and all, all this other stuff that are enforced through government? To, to pick up off what you were just saying, but that, of course, that's where that's the monopolies, and that's the evil monopolies we're supposed to be afraid of are created by the entity that everybody runs to to stop the monopolies from getting to us, and the vicious cycle continues. Um, it's not, yeah, like you know, it, it really is. They're they're not people are that like I said, you know, I keep saying it, but it's true. People they're wrong at the they're mad at the wrong people. They need. Um, they, people run to government because they, that's all they've known. You know, Danilo, you said it last week and it's a common theme. Most of the problems go back to a, to an appeal to antiquity. That's all they can, that's all they can think of. So that's all they, that's all they know to question that they don't, that they don't question it. They just, that's all they know to run to. So there's a problem. Government's got to fix it. You know, I, I said something like that, uh, last week about how the, the, the there, the ought to be a law crowd. <laughs> um, it's just, I, those people drive me nuts. Anytime somebody says there ought to be a law, uh, my first thought about them is that they are lazy and cowardly at the same time because they want government to use its power and force and basically point a gun at somebody else and tell them what to do. They uh, enforce their morals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it's, it's with that with every interaction. But, but again, people don't think about that because they try to, they try to, it never them. enters their head. Well, because they try to compartmentalize how, you know, you know, I think you were saying that before about how it's, they, they don't understand that, you know, or no, Dave, you were saying that about how somehow it's different <laughs> with, with, with the, with the uh, real estate system. Well, you know, somehow every, the economic supplies everywhere else except there. <laughs> they just, they don't get it because they compartmentalize. They see that as different. Oh no, that it's not the case. It's, it's just the evil landlord. Well, it, like, you know, you, both of you guys have been saying, how do you get these evil landlords? You, you're given special favors by the government. You're given money by the government. Uh, well, which, Building permits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's that's even the honest ones that aren't the, 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 the majority of, of landlords that aren't the you know, great evil people that, that, that most, the average person in, in, uh, has the image of in their head when they're thinking of the evil landlords. You know that's the that's the minority of them. The majority are hardworking people that are just trying to make you know trying to make a living and running they, a business. They, yeah, exactly, that's what they're doing. They're running a business, and they they may have been a little more successful than the next guy, but they just, people just assume the worst of them. Um, but they have to jump through all these hoops with the with like you were saying with the building permits and everything else and 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 uh, keeping up with every regulation where the regulations across the board increase every year by like the thousands, I think. Uh, it's ridiculous, especially because it's not just government putting them down. Most regulations that come out every year come from the departments that have been created um, <coughs> unconstitutionally, uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> not that I really care about that thing anymore, but it's, it's true. Uh, most of these agencies, they write their own regulations and they're not, they're monitored by themselves and they're overseen by other entities in the government <laughs> to propagate uh, itself. Uh, so, but all of this costs money, and that's that's where a lot of the rent comes in. And, and when you tie that to the to the constant inflation tax and taxes in general that continue to go up every year because the government just keeps in every at, in every at, at every level continues to expand everywhere constantly and uh, just costs more money and budgets have to increase. And they keep spending more money, which causes the prices to rise. And people, you know, the the ones that aren't getting the protection, those are the ones that end up having to sell off their property. Those are the ones that lose out uh, because they're not getting the special favors and the favorable regulations that are written for the for the bigwigs 
uh, can only help the little guy for so long, and eventually those uh, even those uh, edge, you know edges wear uh, wear off, and uh, they're left with with having to lower their prices to the point where they're losing money, and then they end up having to sell off. Usually to one of the bigger people who sweeps, who swipes, who swoops in and picks up the pieces uh, and just adds to their ever growing empire. And uh, it's just, but people don't want to see that. They want to think Jeremy, of. Jeremy, I have a simple, I have a simple solution to that whole problem that you just said. Raise taxes, pass another law. 